What's up, everyone? Happy Halloween. Happy Sunday fun day. Down here. Bay Park again. Over here. On the other side from where I usually hang out. It's the launch ramp over here. Kind of a nice morning to be out on a boat, actually, believe it or not. Weather's pretty nice today. Good day for trick-or-treating. Good day for trick-or-treating. Spending time with the kitties. Sunday fun day, Halloween special. Morning, Josh. Morning, Kev. So, message of the day, being it's Halloween, we're going to talk about demons. Demons. Demons in our lives. What are the demons in your lives? Um, a lot of us are carrying around demons. Um, past hurts. Um, maybe addictions. Um, we're all dealing with something in the background. The more I talk to people, the more I realize that everyone's got their demons. Um, everyone's struggling. Everyone's struggling with hurt. Everyone's struggling with pain. And everyone, well, not everyone, but a lot of us put on a smile and, uh, keep trucking. So, um, listen to a little Joel this morning, and he talked about the idea of let it go, give it to God, push out those demons, and stop carrying them around. Stop carrying them around. Um, it's all the same concept we always talk about. Um, I'm going to let stuff go. Let stuff go. Um, forgive. Uh, we got to be quick to forgive. We got to be quick to to uh, forgive the past hurts, to forgive the past failures, and to uh, keep looking forward. Uh, let it go. Let it go. We're all carrying around so much stuff, so much hurt, so much pain that's uh, affecting our futures. It's affecting our future lives. It's affecting our future relationships. And uh, we really need to just let it go. Let it go. Simple. Um, lately, I've been talking to a lot of people that are... Uh, Divorced, getting divorced, going through divorce, on the verge of divorce. And um, there's a lot of demons involved in that process. And um, I wanted to reach out and basically tell you, if you're, uh, if you're a married person right now and you're not showing up for your marriage, wake the freak up and show up. Um, don't be selfish. Um, a lot of people are selfish. A lot of people are don't want to deal with an issue. Uh, maybe they don't want to communicate. Uh, maybe there's infidelity. Maybe there's uh, abuse. Maybe there's addiction. Um, but if you're married, especially if you have kids, wake the freak up, wake up, fix it. Um, because there's no, there's no repairing after divorce. It's always just making the best of it. Um, I think the divorce rates last I heard of like 50% in America. So 50% of the people that get married don't stay together. That's insane. That's insane. Um, I attribute to uh, instant gratification. Uh, we all want a quick fix. None of us want to put in the work. I also attribute it to these uh, stupid cell phones that we all carry in our hand. It's really easy to uh, be distracted. It's really easy to be tempted. And uh, back in the day of... Uh, you weren't happy in marriage, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You were kind of stuck there. Now we just pick up a phone, we jump on Facebook, we connect to whoever we want to connect with, and I think that's part of the problem with the instant gratification society and uh, and everything at your fingertips. It's real easy to go find someone new. Um, but if you're screwing around in your marriage, stop. Um, if you're not showing up in your marriage, stop. If you're drinking too much and not being the spouse you need to be, stop. If you're not supporting your spouse, stop. Um, if you're being an asshole, stop, just wake up, step, take a step back because, um, again, there's no fix in that family. Once it breaks, yes, you can get remarried. It's not, but the kids are always stuck in the middle. Kids are always torn back and forth. Kids are always every other weekend. Um, it's just not normal. It's just not ever going to be easy again. It's always going to be second best. So before you mess up first best, before you mess up what you have in your life, wake up, wake up. Fix it now. Fix it now. Stop screwing around and uh, do what you got to do. Um, 
don't think about yourself. Think about the big picture. Think about what the future looks like. Uh, if you're divorced, think about what the future looks like for your family and for your kids. So there's my advice this morning. Fight the demons. Um, fight those demons. All right, everyone. Let's pray. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us those trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, on this Halloween, help us to fight those demons. Fight the demons in our lives. Fight the distractions. Fight the temptations. Fight um, everything that's keeping us from going where we need to be. Help us to forgive. Help us to be grateful. Help us to appreciate what we have. Help us to be content. Uh, Keep everyone safe today. So everyone, all the kids are trick or treating. Everyone spend this time with their families and with their children, and and enjoy life together. Enjoy their families. Don't take anything for granted in this world. All right, Sunday fun day, Halloween special. Down here by the water. Sun is up, rising and shining. Beautiful weather. Still boating weather. How nice is that? There we are, October 31st, boating weather. Love it, love it. I just want to go put the jet ski in the water. I think the water's probably a little cold for that. But, um, all right, Sunday fun day. Go uh, have a happy Halloween. Go enjoy. Go have some fun today. Don't overdo it. Don't eat too much. Don't drink too much. And uh, have some fun today. All right. Um, if you had on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place, it's up to me and you to change the world. Appreciate you all. Love you all. Have a great day.